Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to edition of Drizzleland, and I have a subject that's warm and dear to our hearts, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what Saturday mornings used to be when we were kids. Um, so let's, let's discuss this in the sense that nowadays... Are there really any kids cartoons even on on Saturday mornings? I mean, every time I flip the channels, all I see is like Gunsmoke and all the older TV shows. And then like, I mean, basically you have to have apps now to even watch cartoons anymore on Saturday mornings. They don't air them on regular TV anymore. And the ones that they do, they're completely and totally bad and horrible cartoons with bad acting and bad storylines. So when I was growing up, when TV was good, you had TV shows like Ninja Turtles, um, I mean Transformers, G.I. Joe, He-Man, Smurfs, Flintstones, Jetsons, Batman, Spider-Man, Mega Man, Captain N and the Game Master, Super Mario Brothers. Um, I mean, I could continue going on. I mean, obviously the Disney cartoons, Darkwing Duck, DuckTales, Tailspin, um, Gummy Bears. Um, hang on here, i got to think here. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we went from all those great shows to just complete and total crap. Um, now it's all old reruns of, like, Gunsmoke and Rifleman and all these god-awful shows that I could care less about that are, like, old as dirt. Um, and don't get me wrong, like, I like some of the older shows like Adam Sandler and Monsters and Bewitched and Dick Van Dyke and... Um, you know, shows like that. Um, but I just don't want to see reruns of, like, old Western shows that I could care less about. And the Donna Reed show. And Laverne and Shirley. Oh God, that's torture. I'm sorry. I just don't know how you guys tolerate any of that, like, on local television now with horrible TV shows that they show on Saturday mornings. So here's the option now. You can get Netflix because that has a bunch of good cartoons on it. It has He-Man. It has Transformers. They just got the rights to Ghostbusters. That's another show I used to watch. Um, they're going to have G.I. Joe. I think they're working on getting the rights to that. Um, so, oh yeah, Thundercats too. I think they're going to get that too. So, um, and Hulu also has quite a bit of good stuff too. Like, especially if you like Nickelodeon cartoons from the 90s. They've got all that stuff. Um, the only thing that's disappointing, though, is that they did take Ren and Stimpy off, um, and Beavis and Butthead, which I'm not quite sure whether they really did that, but, um, anyways. So I want to hear from you guys, um, what TV shows did you guys watch growing up on Saturday morning cartoons? Did you watch, like, ABC, uh, cartoon? Uh, did you watch CBS, NBC, um... And what were your favorite shows? Comment below and list like your favorite cartoon shows of all time. Um, and if I've left any cartoon shows out, uh, you can also comment below and say, hey, you know, I used to watch this. Um, and let's also talk in this video about how Disney Channel used to be actually good. Um, when they first started out, they had the rights to a, to a TV show called Ocean Girl, which was really good. They had So Weird, they had The Jersey, they had, um, hang on here, let me think. They had a lot of, I mean, they had so many good shows, it wasn't even funny. Uh, Famous Jet Jackson, there we go, had to think there for a minute. They also had Boy Meets World, they had the rights to that for a long time in the 90s. Um, and... Obviously, later on, they developed their own shows. Like, they had, you know, the the Lizzie McGuire, which I thought was pretty good. Even Stevens was pretty good. Um, and then later on, after that, they had, like, you know, Zack and Cody. 
Um, and then, obviously, Hannah Montana was very popular, but Miley Cyrus now is not really acknowledging, you know, her career on Disney Channel. She's more focusing on her music and the whatever else she's doing for, I, I don't know what else she's doing right now. I don't really follow her career anymore. Um, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I, I thought she was very talented. I just thought that she had the wrong people involved in her life that just put her in jeopardy for losing everything she had, which is kind of where she's at now. I mean, nobody really is that big of a Miley Cyrus fan anymore because of what she's done in the public eye. Kind of like Selena Gomez, too. I mean, Wizard of Waverly Place, there we go. I should have talked about that. Wizard of Waverly Place was extremely popular, four seasons plus a movie, and Selena Gomez was one of the most popular Disney Channel stars of all time, next to Hilary Duff, which we all know Hilary Duff, Lizzie McGuire, the movie, you know, she had a wonderful career after that with movies and TV appearances, um, plus her music album sold, like, millions of copies, um, so, and Debbie Ryan as well, like, she had a, quite a career as well because, I mean, after Sweet Life on Deck, that was another show I didn't mention that was popular too. Um, that, that also had um, Zach and Cody on it and from, you know, uh, the original show. Um, but a lot of these childhood stars from Disney Channel um, later on, had many many horrible things happen to them like the guy from jet jackson um he committed suicide um pretty much because he just couldn't take um his popularity in in the public scene uh which is a shame because he was incredibly talented as an actor um so let's give these people the respect that they deserve and all the hard work that they put in to making the Disney Channel what it was in the 90s and beyond that. Um, now, unfortunately, when I turn on a network like the Disney Channel, I don't really see anything that I really want to watch. It's not really that interesting. Um, and that, that's a shame because they lost, I feel like they lost most of their fan base. Um, because you won't, you know, re-air um, older shows on the network, which were extremely popular, and I thought the young generation would actually like them. Um, and I don't know what's happening with that, if that has to do with people complaining about what these people are doing now and in their public lives or whatever, but who cares? I mean, that that's not what they were doing then. They were incredible actors back then. So... Um, I even think that there should be an online Disney Channel app um, for a network where you can watch all the older shows. Um, because let's be honest, Netflix, the only shows that they have on there from Disney Channel are like Jesse, Ant Farm, um, Good Luck Charlie, um, I think Whenever, uh, which is a newer show. Um, they don't have, like, Sweet Life or of Zack and Cody or Sweet Life on Deck. They don't have that anymore. They don't have Hannah Montana. They don't have Wizard of Waverly Place, which they used to. They used to have all those shows, so I'm not quite sure why they just decided all of a sudden to just take them off. Um, and you can talk about negotiating contracts all you want to, but I just don't, I don't think that that's true. I think that people just called in and complained um, who didn't want the shows on there. Um, and Hulu only has, like, five shows by Disney Channel, um, which is a huge shame, honestly, and their MTV section sucks so hard, man. It's god-awful. Don't ever go in Hulu and check MTV app on there. It is god-awful. I mean, it's all reality TV shows. There's no Beavis, Beavis and Butthead. There's no Daria. There's no Celebrity Deathmatch. There's no anything that I want to watch, man. You guys took off the two shows that I want to watch the mo more than anything, and you're not going to put them back on, I guess. So, and the Nickelodeon app is really interesting. They do have some older shows, but you still took a lot of other stuff off. 
Um, like Ren and Stimpy, why did you take that off? Who the hell called that in and said, oh, we don't want Ren and Stimpy? Like, that's a cult classic TV show from Nickelodeon, and you guys took it off. Like, what the hell's up with that? Like, and then you have other apps like Crackle, um, which it's not very good, honestly. It's average. It's okay. Um, I mean, and I don't like the WWE Network thing right now because, um, for example, if you don't have, like, all your information, um, in their system, and they pretty much just won't reactivate your account. I tried doing that actually three different times to get my old account back, um, and they still wouldn't do that they said I had to create a whole new account um and I was thinking to myself I'm like so you say that it's easy to use but yet it's not it's it's a pain in the ass so then why have it I mean or make the system easier so that people can just you know reactivate your account um with an old email address which is what I tried to do and it never worked I mean, I basically have been without my network for two years now because they can't find my email account. So, and I'm not going to spend more money on making a new email, um, you know, and typing in more information in there so that, that they have all my street information and P.O. Box and all this stuff. And it's like, no, I don't want you guys having this personal information. Um, you guys be very aware of what's going on with these online apps because they can get your personal information and it could be leaked on the internet so you could have like your street address leaked and your credit card information and everything else um, so be very cautious about um, you know what's what's been happening on the internet right now um, so all I'm saying is is that Netflix Hulu this is a plea from everybody. We want all these shows back on. We want you guys to put the Disney Channel shows back on. We want the old Nickelodeon shows back on. We want Beavis and Butthead back on. We want Ren and Stimpy. Um, we want Celebrity Deathmatch. We want all the good MTV shows back. We don't want to sit and watch Jersey Shore and all this other total and complete garbage that people don't want to watch. I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't want to watch reality TV shows uh, that, frankly, are so boring that they put me to sleep. So, this is just me basically saying to all these companies, do what's right. Put these shows back on, because that's what we want to watch. We don't want to watch, um, you know, total and complete reality crap um like who wants to watch the bachelorette and bachelor not me i mean you guys took all the good shows um oh yeah and the nbc app too like that's not nothing to, comp to compare about either on on hulu you guys only have like 10 shows on there and when i first signed up there was like 25 so and the Cartoon Network app, too, I forgot to mention that. You guys took a lot of good stuff off of there, too. So, I mean, just think about what these programs and these apps used to be before they started just ripping us off by just taking all of our shows off. Um, and me, personally, if things don't start to change with these applications in the next, well, let's say, year then I might just cancel all of that. Um, because I don't know if I want to sit around and, and have to just go through all these shows and all there is is reality TV shows and original TV series. Um, now, don't get me wrong, there are some good original TV series on Netflix, but still, you're taking off all the good stuff to put that on there. Why? Why not just keep all of it on there? I mean, the other stuff you could just do like through the mail stuff for the original series. You don't have to just put them on the streaming and take off all our shows. So this is an episode of Drizzle Land. I just wanted to see what your guys' opinion is on this stuff. Um, 
I'm really hoping this stuff changes very soon because if not, I'm not going to have this stuff anymore. I'm just going to cancel it. So 